Hi guys, this is George from Pageant Empress and in this video I'm going to show you guys the national costume of Miss International Beauty Pageant happening in Japan, from, live from Tokyo, Japan. So let's take a look at all the national costumes. As we all know, the production will be the same, which it happens every year, so I'm not going to comment much on the production. I wish it was a bit better, but hey, we get what we get, right? I mean, they have been doing this for over 60 years. So let's start in alphabetical order with Albania. Albania is wearing the colors of a flag, which is black and red. I like the headpiece and I also like the feathers and asymmetrical um, design of the front. I think it's really nice. It's very fashion. After Albania, we have Argentina. Argentina is wearing all red. Uh, I don't know what the inspiration is. I did try to listen to the audio, but it is in Japanese and I do not speak Japanese. Unfortunately, as much as I love watching anime, of course, like Pokemon, you could see it. I love uh, Japanese culture and the, the, the everything like animes and things like that, but I cannot speak the language. But the host did describe the costume inspiration in Japanese. So I don't really know the inspirations. If you guys do know the inspiration for a lot of these national costumes, please let me in the comment section. I really want to know. I love fashion, but I don't really know most of the inspiration. I think I know some of them, which I will talk about. But Argentina looks good. This I love. Australia is wearing this I understand. This is Sydney Harbour in the, ba in the back, which is an iconic landscape in an architect. Uh, in Australia, which I think a lot of people know, I like that in the back, Sydney Harbour. That looks like the national bird of Australia as well. And I think it's a really nice costume. It adds a 3D element. It's a quite a simple jumpsuit, but yeah, I think it's really good. I like it. It's very clean and I think Japanese people really like it since most of the judges will be Japanese. Next, we have Bangladesh. It's a really pretty national costume. So I think this is inspired by, I, I want to see the river, right? They have a famous river in Bangladesh that goes through the country. Next we have Belgium. Belgium is giving us art, very creative, very fa fashion. Then we have Bolivia. Bolivia always has elaborate national costumes. So this one, let's see the reveal. There we go. So we have a lot of the exotic birds. I can see some uh, leopards, some animals. It's really nice. Uh, we're just talking about the country. Then we have Brazil. Brazil is definitely the biggest country in South America. And this is giving me more for a warrior princess. Um, I like the backdrop. Yeah, the, the gold glistening and shimmering looks really nice. Bulgaria, I think this is a traditional Bulgaria. I don't really know much about Bulgaria, unfortunately, except the yogurt that they have, which is quite delicious. Then we have Capo Verde, or Cape Verde in English. So this, I know this is uh, located just off the coast of Africa. So I'm guessing this is inspired by, oh, I like the background with the, the face of, I don't know who that person is, but I really like the cape she had. Okay, next we have Canada. This is a beautiful national costume. The colors really look ethereal. Reminds me of Frozen, Elsa from Frozen. I love that the Queen of the North, right? They have so much snow, frost. It looks so stunning. One of my favorites is Canada. I like it. Then we have Cuba. Cuba is wearing, I think this is a Cuban outfit with the Cuban hat which is they're quite known for their music and traditions, so I think that's what she's doing. Next, we have one of the oldest country, China, and she's wearing, um, oh, it's a Chinese dress. It's fine. Then we have Colombia. Colombia looks like she's wearing, is it a flower as an inspiration? I like the colors. I think the pink color is beautiful. She looks like a Barbie, really nice. I like the ruffles and the train. Then we have Costa Rica. That is a really nice fluid movement. So she must be a dancer because you could clearly see it when she's turning and there we go. She is definitely a dancer. I like the ruffle details of the skirt and also the shoulder details. It looks really nice. Um, Cote d'Ivoire, I think, yeah. So she's going for a uh, warrior princess. I think we'll notice a lot of that. I also really like the cute little doll on the head. Cuba. Cuba looks like a dancer. I believe she's a ballerina because she's so poised and elegant. 
You see that the pose she's doing, even though she has heels on, it is very graceful. So, good job. Then we have Czech Republic. It looks like Czech Republic is a um, jumpsuit with fur. Yeah, it's just a nice look. I think this will look good for a photo shoot. I can really imagine this being a really good for a, a magazine like Vogue or Harper's Bazaar, one of the big fashion magazines. Who's that? Ecuador. Ecuador, I noticed they really like to showcase all out in the national costumes. Very creative. So there's a man and a woman and in a festival dancing. I'm guessing that's inspiration, but Ecuador has been delivering really great national costumes in Miss Grand International and now in Miss International. El Salvador, I believe, is she the one who competed in the Miss Universe 2023 as a host delegate? She looks very similar. I don't know if maybe it's uh, related, but they facially they look very similar. Uh, Ethiopia, it's located in East Africa, and I believe they're mostly Muslim, right? So this looks like a Muslim um, dress. I noticed this in Morocco, North Africa, they also have very similar costumes. Then we have Finland. She is really elegant. She's wearing the colors of the Finnish flag, which is white and blue. And the fun fact, first of a Miss Universe, also from Finland. Next we have um, Dominican Republic. I believe she's half Japanese. She's really cute. She's quite small, but she is just spunky and she just has that bubbly personality, which I think a lot of people love her. She's really cute. I don't know what that was though. Is that a flower? I think that was a flower. So France is let them eat cakes. It's giving me Marie Antoinette, the queen of France. So she said, let them eat cake. I love strawberry cake. So that's really delicious. <laughs> national costume then we have Ghana she's wearing African prints textiles a lot of feathers and uh, is that coat of arms and the top it looks like a government official logo then we have the fun country of Guatemala I love that she's being so playful she's just dancing around the stage I like the headpiece she has she even has a, a, her own drum accessory to just dancing around there we go instrument cute it was really playful Hawaii, okay, this is not my favorite. I think this is probably one of my least favorite. I, I don't understand what this is. Is this meant to be a volcano? I, yeah, I don't I don't get it. Um, next, Honduras, really beautiful. It's giving me under the sea. Under the sea, like Little Mermaid, Ariel, probably her hometown looks quite similar. I like it, it's beautiful, it's colorful, and it really represents a country. So I like this national costume, Honduras. Hong Kong is wearing a classic traditional Chinese dress with the gold crown. Yeah, I've seen this many times, so it's a classic Chinese dress. Okay, nice presentation. India, is she on rollerblade? What is going on? She is brave because I could never do that in front of the judges, in front of the public. And the national costume looks really heavy. Uh, is this meant to be a flower? Is this meant to be lotus? Because the colors are really beautiful and I must say she is really carrying off such a heavy dress because look when she's turning that the back piece alone looks really heavy but it is really colorful and we all know that India is a country of colors they love festivals like Hindu festivals and uh, I think Diwali just ended right so it's a big festival then we have Indonesia wearing a cute kabaya with uh, is that a hat or is that a handbag that is really cute I like it that it, they are very creative in Indonesia when it comes to national costume. I know it's Putri Indonesia puts a lot of efforts in national costume. Then we have Ireland. Ireland looks like pixie. Uh, then we have Italy. Italy's, I like the top part of Italy's dress. The bottom part is just uh, the flag, which I don't really like to see flag as a national costume. But the top part is beautiful. The host country of Japan. She's wearing a classic kimono. I like the color scheme of gold and white. It is very regal, very classic, and she looks elegant. Korea. I noticed Miss Korea organization sends the most beautiful girls to Miss International, and they have been doing that for a while. I like that she's not wearing a traditional hanbok, which is something they always wear for every pageant, which I get a bit bored with. But this is more of a... I'll show you. Hold on. But I like that Korea wore more of a 
different outfit. I don't know what you call this, but it looks really different than the usual hanbok they wear. And I think Korea will probably place quite high because she is really intelligent and she is beautiful. So I think I'm expecting quite a lot from Korea. Then after Korea, who do we have? Then we have Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is wearing a ball gown. It's like a Cinderella. Wait, it was quite quick. Too quick. Let me go back a bit. Let's look at Kyrgyzstan once again. Yeah, it's giving me Cinderella. And I noticed a lot of these Central Asian countries have very similar costumes. I know Kazakhstan has also similar to this. And I think Uzbekistan, right? They have very similar like Cinderella style uh, ball gown. Laos. This is so unique. Very creative. I love the mask. Even the uh, handpiece. I don't know what that is. But it just... It is so different than other national costumes we have seen so far. Yes, she's fierce, she's sexy, exquisite. I like her presentation. It is definitely, she's in her element and whatever she's wearing, I think she's embodying it. Oh, they're talking about mask. We have a different mask. This is an African one from Liberia. Very, very artistic. I like that she was just kind of showcasing that with her hands. Then Luxembourg is wearing a national flower, which is pink, similar to Sakura or cherry blossoms. We have Taiwan. Tai oh, this is Macau, sorry. Macau is wearing a classic Chinese dress. I like Chinese dresses, so it's really pretty. Then we have Malaysia. I noticed that Malaysia is wearing a lot of the warrior princess, uh, warrior style as national costume. Their Miss Grand International Melissa Tan also wore very similar. I mean, it's not the same, but it is a warrior princess. And now Miss Universe Malaysia, um, Sandra Lim, she's also wearing a warrior princess. So I don't know if it's a, a link to her country, but I've, I've been noticing a trend with Malaysian beauty queens wearing a warrior princess. And I want to see a bit more. I mean, it's nice, but I'm kind of getting like bored of seeing warrior princess because even in Miss Universe, we have so many countries wearing almost similar style. So I want to see a bit more than that. So I think show us a bit more creativity in national costume. After Malaysia, we have Mexico. So, of course, Katrina. I just did a video about Miss Universe where they did a fashion show as a tribute to the Mexican culture. And I've seen better Katrinas as national costumes or dresses in the Miss Universe fashion show. So, this is very simple. I think this could be a bit bigger. Even the crown is really small. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's quite simple. I think they could do much better. But the contestant is really beautiful. Mexican girl is really beautiful. Moldova. Moldova, I don't know much about, but it's a really cute look. Mongolia, of course, the land of Genghis Khan. They always have big national costumes, so this one is more simple and it's uh, flag colors. Myanmar, so cute. She even has the face mask on. So what is she doing? Is she meant to be a farmer? Oh, she's tired. Okay, she's exhausted. What is that? Is that a flower? Is that a flower or is that a cotton? Because if that a cotton, I'm a bit mm, I'm a bit suspicious. <gasps> she dropped it. Pick up. Pick up your mess. Pick up. Do not litter the stage. Uh, I don't like when people litter on the stage. Nepal, I like the skirt. I like the flowers detail. I think the train was not necessary. It kind of looks uh, too over-designed. But I like just the, the front part. Except the back. This is stunning. Netherlands, one of my favorite national costumes. I like how simple it is, but it is so powerful because if you're someone who likes art, or even if you're someone who doesn't really follow art too much, you know about this costume, which is the girl with the pearl earring, which is a classic painting, which is so renowned, legendary. A lot of people know about it. It's a masterpiece. So I like that there is the the painting at, at the front and also I can see that Miss Netherlands is incorporating a contemporary take on this painting so I like that juxtaposition with the the traditional art with the contemporary art so I, I like this I think it's a really great national costume which also represents the art and the culture of the country so the Netherlands is quite successful I will say this is a solid 9 out of 10 one of my favorite national costumes so very good very nice it's also quite shimmering. Can you see the face paint? Uh, it's not face paint, the, the painting, face of the painting. The portrait is just glimmering and shining. I like this. Overall, it's a very successful look. New Zealand, uh, I don't know what this is meant to be. Um, it's fine. It's quite sheer though. I don't know if Japanese judges will like it. It's quite see-through. 
color is nice though I like the, the, the headpiece but I don't know about the dress it's too sheer Nicaragua Nicaragua is a country a lot of us are focusing towards because they just won Miss Universe with Shanice Palacio Shanice Nicaragua is wearing gold and red um, beautiful really nice presentation there we go turns gone with the wind then we have Nigeria the giant of Africa she has a lot of colors I see some face is that a face I think I see some like people's face on there too and she has of course the African textiles and yeah artifacts arts and craft uh, then Panama Panama it reminds me of the game characters when you play game like mobile games or like you know online games and you have to buy some money to buy skin that has the elaborate costumes she reminds me of that I don't really like the the skirt part I like the headpiece I like anything about the waist is really successful but I think the skirt is a bit too simple like it doesn't really go with the dress if you had like if she had similar to the headpiece on the bottom part this will be just beautiful so maybe 7.5 out of 10 yeah this one is Paraguay, really cute presentation. I think she's also a dancer. I'm noticing a lot of the countries in South America, they are very good at dancing, so nice. Peru, this is so elegant, effortless. I love it. This is giving me princess vibe. She's so beautiful too. Do you see her face? I know it's not a great quality video because it's from Instagram of Miss International and this is the live stream they did, so I just captured that from there. But this is just beautiful. Her presentation is so elegant and graceful. She has a great aura. I think Peru could be top five in Miss International. She's giving me winners vibes. Beautiful. I like it. And also I really like the fabric is sheer. Let's go a little bit backwards, Peru. I like that her fans, it's not just a normal fan. It also has a sheer fabric, see-through fabrics with metallic effect. This is just beautiful. It looks like a painting. I think Peru has one of my favorite national costumes. Really nice. I like Netherlands, Sofa and Peru. Now we have the Philippines, the Pearl of the Orient Sea. So this is, of course, she has a lot of pearls. Like I said before, Philippines is, oh, what just happened? Something poop out. But you know what? Accident happens. It's a live show. The, sh the show must go on. But she looks beautiful. She's a professional despite the this part, the, the back detail looks like feathers just fell off. She did a really good job. You could see that she is not faced by this accident, that hiccup that happened. She's just going to let the judges see her beauty. And that was a really nice presentation. Let's go back a little bit. Just a little bit. You'll see again. See, when she's moving around, you'll see boop out, but it doesn't matter. Because she is a pro. She knows how to handle a situation like this. And that's why she's Miss Philippines. I think she'll place really high. Yeah. Nice Philippines. Beautiful costume. I think this is what under the sea, right? Because she has a lot of pearls. Very expensive. It looks really heavy. Next we have Poland. Poland is wearing um, a simple dress. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just fine. It's quite simple. For me, it's too simple. Next. After Poland, we have, is it Portugal? Who's next? Portugal, yeah. Again, European countries, why are you giving like, such a simple dress? No, no boy, no. This is something I can find easily in Timu. No. I'm sure it has great meaning to it, but now this is beautiful. This is a masterpiece from Puerto Rico. Beautiful. I love this national costume. I like that it is strapless, it has a great silhouette, shape, colors, details. I'm guessing this is a clock tower in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is beautiful. I love this. One of my favorite, one of my favorite national costumes. Gorgeous. Even her presentation is really breathtaking. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I think that there is a powerful statement that she just made. So Puerto Rico, one of my favorites. Romania, I like the sleeve. I really like the big volume of the sleeve and also the colors. It's yeah, it's quite a fashionable look. Oh, the video went blurry. Okay, it's nice. I think this will look really nice. I, I want to wear this. Yeah, I'll wear it. So next we have Sierra Leone. 
there is a lot of textiles i see a lot of colors a lot of patterns right that looks like pattern singapore pause singapore one of my favorites i know this is the mer lion which is the iconic place in singapore if you haven't been to singapore i haven't been there but my friends have and everyone who goes to singapore they take photos and they pose in front of the iconic mer lion which is half lion half mermaid so half fish so i think this is just such a beautiful and such a unique right like statement because a lot of people know it and just do it if people know about it it's a place just do it it's, it's a famous statue and i like it the colors also it's just plain white but i like that she added that is that a malay crown or is that a chinese crown i cannot tell the difference but i like the crown that she has on the top of the head too which is adding a bit of texture and i really like the volume of the bottom the ruffles really add a little drama and of course the sculpture of the lion i think there's just a lot of things that balances out this national costume not only the silhouette but also the texture which is really important so i like this yeah one of the best national costumes really good singapore i'm really happy for you south africa is wearing the african south african um, is that a zebra? Is that a zebra? It looks like zebra print. I could be wrong, but it looks like zebra. This is beautiful. South Sudan. Oh, she is so beautiful. She looks like a black Barbie. So pretty. Just her skin is so shining. I can see her as a supermodel in the future. You know what? I know Miss International, they usually don't like black girls. or like They don't like dark skin girls. So since we have never seen an African country winning. But South Sudan, she looks like a princess. She looks majestic and she has a beautiful aura. You know what? This is your moment to crown an uh, African country. South Sudan is that girl. Uh, the national costume, I, I didn't even talk about it because her, her facial beauty is just so majestic and magnetic that I'm just kind of appealed by it. I I'm just really... I love her beauty. She is beautiful. And of course, the national costume is also stunning. It is, I think it's rose flower, probably the national flower of South Sudan. This is just iconic. I want her in top five. I want South Sudan in top five because presentation is good. It's very clean and not too much going on, but we're just appreciating her beauty and that's really great. So I want to see South Sudan in top five. Beautiful, stunning. Yes, hello. Then we have Espania, of course, living could answer, which is something we always see. Nothing out of the ordinary. But it's always nice to see living could answer. Sri Lanka is a peacock. The headpiece must be really heavy. That looks heavy. Very colorful. And I'm happy that she's representing her country. Taiwan, I like this one. Taiwan is the porcelain. She looks like a porcelain doll beautiful national costume i love the colors really pretty thailand thailand is a bird it's really big you could see the volume the shape is huge i like the color the green it looks really luxurious really grand i'm getting very miss grand from this national costume because of the color scheme of gold and green but it's really beautiful honestly i love the big i usually don't like birds because it's kind of like you know over the it's been done so many times but it is a unique take because i haven't seen a bird like this in miss international so it's really beautiful good job thailand really i like i really like the the color scheme it's beautiful yes good presentation beautiful i like that glimmering shine it's just it just adds that drama right i like it ukraine is wearing the typical ukraine costume it's fine Next, United Kingdom, my home country. Is the, what is this? I mean, I know it's a cape. What about, what else is there? It's just a cape. It doesn't say anything about the UK except a cape. This is boring. I'm sorry, USA. USA has so much media. They have so much thing going on as representing the US. Also, every state has something special about each of the state. Why are we saying Miss USA always going for a safe bet, which is Lady Liberty? Why? And this is not even a good Lady Liberty because it just looks meh. 
Like, there's nothing special about this costume. At least if you're going to do Lady Liberty, make sure it is the color that matches the statue, which is almost like a greenish, Turkish green. Um, this is just, no, this is something that you will see in high school. I've seen my friends who live in the US dress up better for Halloween. This is not it. This is just tacky. I don't like this. No, this costume is zero. Zero out of ten. I don't like it. There's no creativity, no innovation, no uniqueness. It's just boring. Also, I'm bored of seeing flag colors. We need to see costumes that represents more than just the flags. And this is just, no. I, it's not working out for me. I don't like it. Also, USA needs to experiment more with the national costumes. Venezuela, wow, this is stunning. This must be heavy. How is she doing this? It's a bird, but it looks like a swan. I don't think it's a swan, but it's a beautiful bird. How is she doing this? This is so beautiful, her presentation. It's a simple costume with a big wings, but the way she's doing her presentation is phenomenal. I love it. I love this. Venezuela is Venezuela. I love Venezuela. And the last one, Vietnam. I like that she is showcasing the textiles industry of Vietnam, where they are known for making silk, cotton, and all the different fabrics, as you can see on the screen. I also like the hint and element of gold into it, which is, you can see the gold, I think it's lotus flower behind her, which is also on the fabric. So this was a beautiful and elegant presentation. So these are the Miss International 2024 National Costume reaction who are your personal favorites let me know, know in the comment section i think i said quite a lot so <laughs> um i would probably give it to netherlands if i have to give um, the best national costume because it was really original and i haven't seen a painting like that being in incorporated into uh, miss netherlands national costume and there are a few others too so i'm sure if you can just watch back and i said the ones i really like so yeah uh, who is your best national costume in miss international beauty pageant let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed my reaction please hit the like share this video on your social media and do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell notification bell to see more videos like this because i post every day i've been doing live stream for the past what five days in a row for Miss Universe. I also post Miss Universe content every single day until the 16th of November. So please watch my YouTube channels too. So thanks so much for watching and supporting me on YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys once again in my next video. So see you soon. Bye bye.